Rifat Khan scans the soaked ruins of her home. The mother of nine daughters lives in northern Pakistan's Swat district. For weeks, it has rained here non-stop. The water flooded their homes, almost completely destroying it. People ask me what I've lost, but it's impossible to even guess. Our whole house has been destroyed. There's nothing left. Nothing at all is left in this house. Pakistan's monsoon season began in June. Experts say that there has been four to five times the normal amount of rain this year, turning rivers into raging torrents. The floodwaters reached the home of Rifat Khan and her daughter Bushra a few days ago. We were just about to pack our bags when the water came. It rose very quickly, up to our necks. We left our bags behind and climbed up onto the roof to save our lives. More than 30 million people have been affected by the flooding, with damages estimated at more than $10 billion. Food, water and shelter in particular are in short supply. Pakistan's Prime Minister Shehbaz Sharif has promised immediate aid. As the cleanup work begins, disease is spreading throughout the areas affected by the flooding. There is also a shortage of medicine, including in the SWAT district. I don't have enough money to go to the doctor or buy medicine. We have sore throats and we're getting heat rashes on our skin. Her daughter Bushra was about to get married. Rifat Khan had spent months making new garments in preparation for the wedding, all destroyed by the flooding. She doesn't know where to turn to. We're totally helpless. My daughter and I are suffering badly. I can't cope with the severe consequences of the flood. I just don't know how we'll get through this. For now, Rifat Khan and her daughter are staying with friends. But they have no idea what their future holds.